if this bit stays in, I'm not sure if it will or not, to be honest, then I've decided to go ahead with it. Um, um, <laughs> and I can already see. Through the TV screen now, laughing because Hello. Just climbed up a hill to get to this. It is, it is Box Switch Millennium Sundial. Basically, there's a formation of rocks around here. You're supposed to stand. I assume it only works in summertime. Stand on the month where you are, and then the sun casts a shadow, and then it tells you what time it is. On the rocks, you know how sundial works, human one. But why I'm up here, Whew, blowing. Why I'm up here? Some trees over there. I want to try and camp in. It actually looks like someone's already been here. Looks like someone's already been here. It's been a couple of weeks since I uh, posted a video. To be honest, the last video I made, I think the last video I posted, proper camping one anyway, was when I went out with Kate, and that was a while back. So I was a good two or three weeks, uh, two or three weeks ahead of myself, and I just had a rest. I haven't been out. I have been out, tell a lie. I was out last night. Went out in the vans. Matt's got a van, so no doubt we'll be seeing that coming, coming soon. So uh, we went out last night in the vans. I ended up sleeping in the hammock just outside the van. Everyone's heard of the Movember movement, I assume. If you haven't, quick run down. It's in November. Uh, you know, men grow a moustache to uh, to get people talking about mental health and raise awareness for men's prostate cancer and other cancers and and stuff like that. And obviously, it's a especially mental health. It's a big thing at the moment, isn't it? So, like I say, I'm not sure if this is staying in or not. Um, yeah, so I've decided I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a go. I'm gonna grow a moustache for November, um, <laughs> and I can already see my dad, Matt, Paul, and you, Henry, laughing because you know they know I can't grow a moustache. You know I don't I don't get facial hair. I don't get much anyway. I like a right wrong and ears and my nose. Jesus Christ, I wax them twice a week. You know what I mean. I've only got a, a small platform and a small reach, but you know, there might be someone out there watching my video or someone that you know that you're watching this right now who's going through, you, you know, mental health or, or cancer. And if there is, a big cheers to you and a big cheers to them. Yeah, I thought, why not? It's the least I can do. So yeah, if you are interested in, yeah. How the next month goes watching me become a wrong one. So it's now Saturday the 2nd of November. I'm going to hopefully get this video out for Monday. So if it's Monday the 4th of November. So this is early days. So uh, yeah, do stick around because I'm going to be doing videos every Friday. And uh, well, be interested to see if there's any progress, won't it? I'm have to do November and December just to sort of get a bit of a, you know, get a bit of growth going. But yeah, um, I'm not asking for any, any, any money or anything like that. Well, again, I was toying. Do I put a link for donations or what? I don't know whether I'd actually get any or not. But leave me a comment if you would donate. Um, and if I get enough people saying they would. If not, you know, a subscribe. That's good for my mental health. Because I tell you now, this isn't easy. Putting yourself out there. Um, anyway, we're back. Weekly Friday uploads, especially during November. Come and watch the progress. I can't believe I'm doing this. But yeah, cheers. What's the plan attack for tonight? I'm thinking I'm gonna stay here, to be honest. I'm thinking this'll do. These two trees here for me hammock. I've got a bench to have my dinner on. We're on the move. And, a problem. 
well, got a couple of problems to be honest. So we're, we were going to be here. I know you can't see, but I found a better place. A little bit stealthier. Even got a clothes hook for my coat. This is where we are. Just to be better for the hammock, to be honest. Just uh, out the trees as well. So, if we do get a star show, then I'll be able to see it. Got a bit of a problem though. Would you believe I forgot something? Anyone think I've done this for a while? So, not sure if I've already said or not. So Matt bought a van, so we were out last night uh, in the vans with the families. Uh, I slept in the hammock though with cameraman Stan, he was in the hammock next door. 5% um, chance of rain all night and even into this morning, all day today, 5% chance, less than 5% chance. Woke up at half past six this morning, just lay there waiting for everyone else to wake up and uh, started spitting. And before you know it, we're soaked because I didn't put a tarp on. So I thought tonight I'd grab a tarp. Slightly more chance of rain, so it's, I think it's less than 20% chance. So uh, I thought I'd best try tarp in. So I put my tarp in, they put my rope in, so I've got nothing to hang it with. So, yeah. I've also got my uh, phone charger. <laughs> I'm on 35% and it's 5 pm. And it's autumn. So, it's already going dark. It's going to be a long, a long, long night. Uh, yeah, I'm just hoping the fireworks displays will keep me entertained. You know, they don't really, they don't really do anything for me, to be honest. So what am I going to do? Well, what can I do? I'm going to cook my dinner. I've got burgers. And then, yeah. And that's that. Yeah, it's gonna be a long night tonight. No, uh, well, no entertainment. Stars and the fireworks it is. Cheers. This isn't good. It's uh, 10 past six. And it started, it's trying to rain. Just come for a little walk to have a look. So if you are stood, it's now Saturday the 2nd of uh, November. It's 10 past six at night. And if you are stood on the Reekin, let me know if you are stood on the Reekin in the comments. It'd be ace if there was someone. Right, I really don't know what to do. Uh, 25 past six. I've had to put my battery phone onto battery saving mode extreme. Let's double check the weather. I've just turned it off. Oh my God. 30% chance now at eight o'clock. Then it drops to less than 5% chance the rest of the night. Okay, so if we can get through eight and 9 p.m. without, uh, without too much drama. I have got the top, like I say, I can. I would have had to fashion something together. That's not my biggest issue to be honest, the biggest issue is passing the time. Um, which to be honest, I normally listen to a podcast. As much as I enjoy coming out at this time of the year, and I really do, it's a long night. I've just fashioned something together with the tarp anyway. So, luckily I have my tie-out points, I have my pegs. And me rope, so I've got it all out that side. But 
I'm watching the fireworks from this side. So I've just got it and I'm sat in there. Anyway, this is probably going to be the last update of the night. Unless anything happens, uh, I'll catch you in the morning. Do you know that? Who knows what is out there? Yeah, who knows what's out there? Oh God, see you in the morning. Morning. Well, it's a good job we had the tarp. It didn't rain heavy. But you know that fine rain which gets you very, very, very wet. That's what come. The main fireworks. The main fireworks stopped around about, I don't know exactly to be honest, but I want to say about 10 o'clock. That'd be a decent time for them to stop, wouldn't it? About 10 o'clock. But, somebody was then letting off cheap supermarket fireworks at half past 11 for about half an hour. And I know they were cheap supermarket fireworks because they sounded awful. That general direction. So there'd be some idiots Again, some kids who think they're funny, think they're clever. So yeah, phone's gone off, so I have absolutely no idea of the time. But, uh, well, there's a sundial down there, isn't there? Well, I'm not sure that's gonna uh, tell me the time this morning, no sun. But yeah, this is where we was last night. Yeah, not much sun out today. I have absolutely no idea of the time, so. Well, I have absolutely no idea. I think it gets light about six o'clock, so it's gotta be about six, seven o'clock. So then, another successful one. Quite enjoyable. I know it's uh, November now, actually. And uh, it was actually pretty warm. Please be sure to uh, like the video and, uh, and leave me a comment. Oh, here's one for you. So obviously talking about uh, trying to grow a mo. How do you pronounce it? Do you agree with me? And, uh, and call it a moustache or do you agree with Kate and call it a moustache just drop in a comment Kate or Rob and then uh, yeah I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys